it's your boy the shows and if you're new to the channel welcome to shows world tv all right y'all you know the title already so please subscribe if you're new turn on your bell notifications make sure to like this video if you already subscribed to me all right so let's get into it man yeah it's been a while since we did one of these yeah it was last year all right all right all right so <laughs> Don't mind me. Yeah. If you don't know which actor did that, you're obviously too young. So number one, buying things that you could get at a supermarket for cheap. Now, let me explain, let me elaborate a little further. You know those ice cream trucks that the kids always see and they want to get the ice cream cone? Look, man, now I'm not saying you can't get that for them. If you want to do that, that's on you. But I just feel like sometimes if you wanna, you know, save some money and, and you know have things be a little more convenient for you, why don't you just buy, you know, why don't you just buy some ice cream at the supermarket, get you some ice cream cones at the same time, you can actually make the ice cream cones, you know, at home. It's it's a little less of a hassle just waiting for a truck to come down the block so you know a kid can get some ice cream. Now don't get me wrong, I was one of those kids that definitely had ice cream, you know, from the truck as a kid, but as I got older, I realized eh, economics, saving money every so often. I can just buy my own ice cream. I don't I don't eat the ice cream cones, but but anyway, yeah. That's what I figured. So another thing is the ices, right? You know the ices that you get from the, from the Spanish dudes. Well, I'm in New York, so you know, they have the Spanish dudes with the ices on the corners, you know, with the little um, carts. Yeah, and they scoop them up and they put them in the little cups. Yeah, you can make that at home too. Now, I don't know about making the actual ice. There's a way they do that. I'm not sure how to do it, so don't quote me on that. But as far as like icy ices, you know, the like the popsicles and stuff, you can make that at home too. Because I know they have um, trays that you could have custom made and you put the juice in there. My grandmother used to do it when I was a kid. She had a tray and she would pour the juices, the juice inside, you know, each little, um, each little tray thing. And then she freeze it overnight. And then we'd have popsicles the next day. You know, me and my cousin. So that was pretty cool. All right, man. So number two, I actually don't like it when it is sunny and hot. You know, I, I prefer sunny and cloudy. Let me explain. So, you know, I actually prefer it when it's sunny and cloudy because there's actually some cool air. Now, that isn't always the case, but for the most part, when there's clouds, you know, there's going to be rain and, and there's going to be a cool breeze afterwards. But if it's sunny and there's no clouds at all, it's going to be a super humid day. That's what I figured out when it's summertime, you know? So I actually prefer that because I don't like the humid weather at all. You can hear me elaborate further on this with um, five reasons that you are tired on a hot summer day. I did that video and I'll put it in the mobile cards here somewhere. All right, man. So number three, family barbecues that don't start on time actually annoy me. Let me explain. Now, I came to this thing to eat. You know, I wasn't trying to wait on something. Now that sounds a little selfish. It sure it does. But what I'm saying is that if I'm at this barbecue, I don't want to be waiting around because then it's like I'm not even gonna want to really eat anything. Then sometimes you get there, you still have to help with the preparing of the barbecue itself. You know, like moving the tables or something like that. So yeah, let me just give you an example real quick. You know. <laughs> Caribbean family barbecues be like, yo, beg you some help, man. Okay, sure. What do you want me to do? Well, yeah. Could you move the table? Yeah, no problem. Oh, and also, you know, clean off the grill. Make sure to wash off the seats and the tables. Oh, yeah. And could you also get the hamburger buns and the hot dogs from me? Be honest with me. Did you invite us over here just so that you could get the free help? Well, yes, isn't that what family for? <sighs> so anyway, I'm just saying, man. I came to eat. I didn't want to be the help at the same time, man. Not, 
Not that obviously you don't want to help out your family, but come on, you know what I mean. We're here to eat and then leave. <laughs> That's usually the, the gist of these fans. Yo, bro, like, I really could have stayed home if I'm just going to be coming here to wait on, you know, food that I can't even eat yet, man. I'm just saying. So, yo. So now the last one, number four. Look. Say this one time. July 4th is over, y'all. Why am I still hearing fireworks outside my window? No, really, why? Please explain why. I heard that some people bought fireworks with the stimulus check, their entire stimulus check, and that's all they bought. Really? So you didn't save the money for a rainy day? You didn't put it towards your bills? Maybe your student loan, tuition, whatever that is? Really, you, you didn't do any of that? You just spent it all on fireworks, huh? Bet you feel real stupid now. <sighs> I mean, you probably don't care. Cause you figure, oh, the government gonna get me another one in a couple of days or a couple of months. Listen, I don't know if there's a second stimulus check coming, but I know if there isn't one, then you guys are really stupid for spending all your money on some fireworks. It has been since Memorial Day weekend right in May, since I've been hearing these fireworks go off outside my window. And I really have to wonder, what is going through their heads? Do, do they not have massive headaches by now? It's it's almost like hearing cannons outside the window. Almost every other night I hear it now. It used to happen so frequently in May, June, July, back to back. And now I'm hearing it every so often. I don't know, August must be like the cutoff month or something, but I'm still hearing them. So I have to say, you people are really dedicated to your um to your fireworks. Like I said, July 4th is over. Independence Day gone already, man. Let it go. Please just stop with the fireworks, man. I need to sleep. I got a job. You know what that is? You probably don't. Is it too busy popping off the fireworks? I mean, honestly, just go back to talking unnecessarily loud on the phone with your significant other so we can all hear your conversation on the block. You know, go back to wasting the water unnecessarily from the fire hydrant when you could just bought the kids a kiddie pool to share on the block. Or maybe even get a hose to spray the water. Instead of having these unnecessary floods on the little streets with the, um, the sewer drainage, you know what I mean? At this point, I might just make a signs you're getting old part two. Oh well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. All right. This is your boy, The Shows. This is Shows World TV. All right. And I make new videos for every Thursday. I make reactions, sketches, and vlogs. All right. So don't forget to hit that bell to be notified every time I make a new video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. And for all my subscribers recently that have been supporting the channel and everything. Alright, so if you want more videos like this, then click the playlist over there. And if you want more recent reactions, then click that playlist right there. Alright. About to go edit this thing. Alright, alright, so once again, thank you guys for watching. It's your boy the shows, and I will see you guys next time when I upload. Peace. And I just realized the light went off. <laughs> I did not charge the battery. Yeah, <laughs> peace.